So in the last lecture, we created our service and we added all the methods that we need to use in our application. So add a new employee, find all the employees, update an employee, and then find an employee by ID and then delete an employee. So we're pretty much done with the service. It's a very simple service, not really complicated, but we do have to fix this exemption right here, which is where we try to find an employee by an ID. And if we can't find this employee in the application or in the database, we're just going to throw this uh, user not found exception. Obviously, I just made this up on the fly as I was typing. Um, this exception doesn't exist yet. So let's go ahead and create that exception so that we can get rid of this error. So here I'm just going to over over it and go to more actions and then create class user not found exception. And I'm going to put it in a different package. You can see it's going to put it in this the same package where of that class that we're on. So here I'm going to just put it in a different package called exception. So now we have this new package created and the class is in here. So since this is an exception, I can just extend the runtime exception. So I'm going to do runtime exception. And here I can just call the super class. So I know I'm going to get a message. So I'm going to do message. And inside here, I can just call the constructor for that message from the super class. So I can just do super and then pass in my message here. So what this is going to do is it's going to call the constructor on that class and then pass in this message as a constructor where you can pass in a message. So as you can see, we're passing in this message here, this whole string here, which is the message that we're passing. So that message is going to get passed down um, to this exception right here. And we're getting an error here, and that's because we didn't specify that this is going to return an optional of employee. So we're going to do employee, and that should fix the problem. Go back. Now, as you can see, it's gone. So that's everything we have to do for our employee service. And at this point, we're ready to use the service and then start making transactions in our database. So I'll see you guys in the next one.